So, I just thought I would let y'all know that, yes, we have GW5056, or we also have GW5015, and GSK516, and Endurable. All in one capsule. Um, it's back in stock. Or it's not back in stock, it's been in stock. We're just going to pull it simply because, well, the FDA's been sending letters and stuff. Kind of like we told you about MK2866. Same thing here. I'm not going to push the envelope when it comes to the actual government. Robert. Collier's not the government, neither is Kevin Smith. Those I'll push. Government, no. Lawyers, <laughs> no jokes. Okay, now, so, but because uh, YK11 and GW have been the target of some FDA thing, no, told y'all. When it comes to the law of cages, I don't like cages, so I just quit when there is a reason that I have to. Nonetheless, um, now we got YK11. Uh, basically, we might as well go over what they are real quick because, well, I'm here and I'm making a video and I couldn't make just a, like a one minute video. That would be completely atrocious. Who would, probably everybody would watch that. We're not going to do it though. All right, so what is GW 50156, 501516, GSK 516, or Endurable? They are all amazingly the exact same thing. Um, they are PPARB modulators, which basically means it stimulates skeletal muscle to increase use of glucose. Um, it aids in balancing the metabolic disorders. Um, of people who have those, in obese people with signs of prediabetes, according to studies. Of course, these are not for human consumption. There is nothing that I say here that can be um, swallowed, banged, plugged, insulfilated, used as cosmetics. It will not make you pretty. It will not get that girl to sleep with you. And... None of this has been evaluated by the FDA, the ATF, NBC, ABC, CBS, and your homeowner's insurance is not going to cover it. I think that covers everything. If I didn't, let's take a minute, pause this, and read that. I'll hold it still for a second. There you go. All right, done. Okay. Um, what is GW? Um, basically, it's going to be really, really good at burning fat and using sugar, which is what is stored in your fat cell, to do so. Did you know you don't actually burn fat? Fat just stores sugar, which is glucose, which is energy. Fat don't make you fat. All forms of food break down into glucose or energy for your body or metabolism to burn to create this cool stuff called energy. So that's what fat cells store. That's why fat doesn't make you fat. By the way, your brain's like 76% cholesterol by weight. So next time somebody calls you a fathead, you must agree. Um, Final cell on these when the stock's gone that we have is gone. It's game over. YK11, what is that? That is a myostatin inhibitor. Now, in red, I should have put this shit. You know, it's uh, L I B A R T I C T O X I C. This is a double methylated compound that is going to drill a hole in your liver in order to be delivered into the bloodstream. It is probably the equivalent of drinking. A pint of vodka a day. Now, that may sound scary, but I drank a liter of vodka a day for about two years straight. It was a 
horrible, atrocious time in my life, but I lived through it. Um, <laughs> just saying. So, but uh, could you be that one person that it drills a hole in your liver and the liver never heals? Yeah, but for most of us, you can kill the liver down to one square inch and the whole thing won't rebuild provided you quit doing what you've been doing. That's why you cycle things. Um, nonetheless, uh, she, what is YK11? It is a myostatin blocker or myostatin inhibitor. What does that mean? What is myostatin? Myo, myo, well, statin being the latter part of the word, that part, means to block. If you have a cholesterol-lowering drug, we call it a statin drug. Um, now, statin is to inhibit or retard. Myo, being the first part of that word, is really myokine or myogenesis, which is the formation of muscle tissue. So basically, myostatin means to inhibit or retard muscle formation. Well, let's stop making retarded muscles. That makes sense, right? Now, you take YK11, and it stops that. Now, one thing that always had me worried was, well, is that not going to allow my heart to grow? And my heart has a, there's a place that it must fit, and if it gets too big for my chest, it big explode out like the freaking alien in alienism. <laughs> but they've actually done studies, and it may actually uh, help to strengthen the heart so that it goes back down to size, which is really strange and awkward to me how that could happen. But um, that's what studies show. Science kind of trumps my throw science. Nonetheless, um, it's still liver toxic, so you need to PCT afterwards, and you can use like a IP6 with milk thistle and your kidney liver cleanse. Um, you can even use test PCT to regain function of your test because it also seems to mimic close enough to testosterone that it does cause some um, suppression of your natural test levels. Nonetheless, if you want them, if you just want them put up in case we have war or something, because I'm telling you right now, YK11 for some reason makes me mean. I mean like mean on a level that, I mean not me, because I would never ever take one of these. That's not even a SARM, that's a the methylated, like, liver toxic thing. Um, it's a myostatin inhibitor. That's not its arm, right? So, anyway, nonetheless, I digress. It, in research and testing, it made my fish for a monkey mouse, saber tooth, spider cricket, lick a lot of puss, want to, like, eat babies. <laughs> like that. I mean, like, just straight up pissy. Anyway, nonetheless, um, I've bloviated enough. Get them while you can. Use um, whatever promo code of whatever person that originally told you about us. Help them out. Use their promo code or you can use SETH. Um, get you like 15% off. But that's all I'm going to give you right now because this is the last time you're going to be able to get it. So, unless I'm running a sale somewhere else, that's it.